Villa squares the cross, goes off of Siani, onto a Tinderholm! Anton Tinderholm in the home opener scores first for New York City. It's 1 0. Anton, what does it mean for you to re sign in New York? It's huge. Uh, it's uh, the one thing I really wanna uh, wanna do. So for me, it's been uh, it's been a simple choice. Um, since the very first uh, games last season, I felt like um, this is the the place to to be. This is the club to be. And uh, when you enjoying life and you enjoying your career so much, there has been no doubt for me that I uh, wanna resign here and uh, extend my contract here. Both me and my my wife is uh, enjoying life so much in, in this uh, club and this uh, city, so we really want to stay here. You're nearing the end of your second year here. What's the experience been like? Like I said, uh, after just the first couple of games last season, I felt like uh, this is a second home for me. And uh, all the guys in the team and uh, the staff around the club welcomed me in a really good way. and. Uh, I fit into the team uh, very well and uh, felt like um, this is uh, yeah like a second home and I felt like uh, this is a place I really want to stay in and uh, yeah I felt like this is uh, a team who can achieve uh, a lot and uh, I really want to do something special this year and the uh, upcoming years as well. You're in the prime of your career, you could have had other options. What was the ultimate decision factor? Uh, for you to stay in New York? Of course, the, there there was uh, other options as well, but uh, like I said, when, when you're enjoying life so much, there is uh, no idea to, to change it so much. Of course, some days it can be uh, pretty far away from your family and friends, but uh, a lot of them uh, come here and visit us, so uh, it helps a lot. and. Uh, I felt like uh, when my wife is uh, so happy here as well, it makes me happy. So uh, that was the the biggest one. I felt like uh, when I got the approval from her, that there was no doubt that uh, we're gonna stay here for uh, for a couple more years. Along with Ring, Collins, Johnson, you're a leader inside the locker room. How much pride do you take in that role? I mean, I just want to help the team, and uh, we all have uh, different personalities and. Uh, I want to be pretty vocal and uh, help the team in uh, just not uh, just achieve what I can do. I want to help the other players, the, the younger play players. I reach an uh, age now when I got a lot of experience from uh, European football, from the national team, and uh, play a couple of years here as well. So, so I want to help the, the other uh, players and uh, even help my, myself if I can uh, help the, the teammates to get better. I uh, improve as well. So. I want to be, do something big with this uh, club, and uh, this starts uh, this year. Here for this corner from Morales. Oh, it was a fine volley, and what a strike from Tinnerholm! What's been your favorite NYCFC moment so far? Uh, it's been a plenty of them, but uh, I think the the derby win, uh, the last derby win, is is huge for for me and uh, for the uh, for the fans and everyone around the club. It was a uh, was a tough tough game, and uh, they scored first. But uh, I think, um, especially in the in the uh, after the one 0 goal, we felt like this is uh, maybe the best uh, game we've uh, done this season, and. Uh, we really got the fans uh, behind us and uh, yeah, it was a great win, especially uh, this year and it uh, was a great win uh, last year as well. So the Derby games is always special and uh, to win a Derby game at home in front of the fans is, is special. We're coming down the stretch here in the 2019 season. What's in store for the rest of the season? I think we're having a really, really good chance and a big opportunity to do something big this year with this club and, and when the fans is behind us uh, like the last game. Uh, I think we all know that we are in a good spot in the, in the standings right now and uh, we all want to win and do something uh, big, but uh, we just have to look at the next game and focus on that one and then in the end we will see what we get from there. I think it's safe to say you're a fan favorite within the uh, NYCFC fan base. What would you like to say to them about re-signing and just your commitment to the club and, and the support they've given you? Now you guys have uh, supported me from, from the very start and uh, I've been appreci appreciating uh, every uh, yeah, every moment so so far and uh, like I said we have the chance to do something big together and if you're you're behind us that that's the 
12th player on the pitch, so uh, let's do something big this year together.